almost. Great. Mm. And I will bet you, you don't have a warrant to get in. Hmm? Darn it. It's a bummer. You wasted the day on purpose. Madam, I have a fake badge. I would never impede your pretend investigation. It's not a pretend investigation. Look, see? See him? This is missing. Well, then they should have gotten a real cop to find him. What is your problem? Does seeing me fail somehow make you feel better about your own sad, miserable life? It does, 100%. Now, since you're sans warrant, I guess we're done? <sighs> Fine. We are done. Here's your pen. Hey! First off, you throw like a bunny. Second, you're a very sore loser. See you later, Officer Fluff. So sad this is over. I wish I could have helped more. The thing is, you don't need a warrant if you have probable cause, and I'm pretty sure I saw a shifty lowlife climbing the fence. So you're helping plenty. Come on. 219 HD03, this is it. Oh my god! What? What? The velvety pipes of Jerry Vole. <sighs> but on CD? Who still uses CDs? <laughs> Carrots? If your otter was here, he had a very bad day. Those are claw marks. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. Wait, look. This is him, Emmett Otterton. He was definitely here. What do you think happened? Well, now, wait a minute. Polar bear fur, rat pack music, fancy cup. I know whose car this is. We gotta go. Why? Whose car is it? The most feared crime boss in Tundra Town. They call him Mr. Big, and he does not like me, so we gotta go. I'm not leaving. This is a crime scene. Well, it's gonna be an even bigger crime scene if Mr. Big finds me here, so we're leaving right now. Oh, Raymond! And is that Kevin? Long time no see. And speaking of no see, how about you forget you saw me? Huh? For old time's sake? That's a no. Mr. Big, sir, this is a simple mm. mistake. Yeah, here. Mm. This is a simple misunderstanding. Mm. You come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. Well, actually, we were brought here against our will, so. <laughs> Point is, I, I did not know that it was your car, and I certainly did not know about your daughter's wedding. Mm. I trusted you, Nikki. I welcomed you into my home. We broke bread together. Grandmama made you a cannoli. And how did you repay my generosity? With a rug made from the butt of a skunk. A skunk butt rug. You disrespected me. You disrespected my grandmama, who I buried in that skunk butt rug. I told you never to show your face here again, but here you are, snooping around with this. What are you? A performer? What's with the costume? Sir? I am a cop. Mime? She is a mime. This mime cannot speak. You can't speak if you're a mime. No, I am a cop. <sighs> and I'm on the Emmett Otterton case, and my evidence puts him in your car. So intimidate me all you want. I'm going to find out what you did to that otter if it's the last thing I do. Mm. 
and I have only one request. Say hello to Grandmama. I saw. Oh, I, 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 I didn't see nothing. I'm not saying nothing. And you never will. Please. No, no, no. If you're mad at me about the rug, I've got more rugs. Daddy. It's time for our dance. What did we say? No, I sing anyone at my wedding. I have to, baby. Daddy has to. I saw. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. I love your dress. Oh, thank you. Huh. Oh, put them down. You've done me a great service. I will help you find the otter. I will take your kindness and pay it forward. Otterton is my florist. He's like a part of the family. He had something important he wanted to discuss. That's why I sent that car to pick him up. But he never arrived. Because he was attacked. Oh, he attacked. Otterton? Otterton. He went crazy. Ripped up the car, scared my driver half to death, and disappeared into the night. He's a sweet little oh. My child, we may be evolved, but deep down, we are still...